Hello everyone. Choice of Bahadur Shah as symbolic head. In Delhi, the local infantry joined them, killed their own European officers, including Simon Fraser, the political agent, and seized the city. Lieutenant Villaboy, the officer in charge of the magazine at Delhi, offered some resistance but was overcome. The aged and powerless Bahadur Shah Zafar was proclaimed the Emperor of India. Delhi was soon to become the center of great revolt and Bahadur Shah its symbol. This spontaneous rising of the last Mughal king to the leadership of the country was a recognition of the fact that the long reign of the Mughal dynasty had become the traditional symbol of India, India's political unity. With its single act, the Sepoys had transformed a mutiny of soldiers into a revolutionary war while all Indian chiefs took, who took part in the revolt hastened to proclaim their loyalty to the Mughal Emperor. It also signified that the rebels were politically motivated. Though religion was a factor, the broad outlook of the rebels was not influenced by religious identity but by the perception of the British as the common enemy. Bhagadur Shah, after initial vacillation, wrote letters to all the chiefs and rulers of India urging them, them to organize a confederacy of Indian states to fight and replace the British regime. The entire Bengal army soon rose in revolt which spread quickly. Avad, Rohilkan, the Davo, Bandalkan, Central India, large parts of Bihar and East Punjab shook off British authority. Like, share and subscribe to support the channel. Thank you. Bye.